Dear friends, I welcome you to Biafra Universal TV this moment to commend your efforts and your movements, your contributions for the actualization of United States of Biafra. As a stands this day, you have done pr uh, pr Biafra and Biafrans proud, both home and diaspora by your immense contributions, both physically, um, spiritually, materially, financially, and otherwise. So your efforts cannot be underrated and cannot be undermined because uh, you have shown your magnanimity and decision to determine the sovereign state of Biafra, which is your legal right, and therefore, this moment, I find it imperative to welcome you and to commend you once again for your effort makings. Uh, looking at what you have achieved on ground uh, for the period of some months now, that uh, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile um, uh, went into the office, and I, I can say that it is, it is phenomenal. It is wonderful because such results have never been on the ground since the Biafra agitation started right from the time of uh, Chief Dim Odmewu Ojuku. So till uh, the, the regime of uh, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile, Mazer Simon Eba, I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. They won. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. Uh, because you, let me tell you something you don't know that the whole world are watching Biafrans and Biafran freedom fighters, the agitators, and um, the leaders uh, of Biafra new generation. I want to inform you that this 21st century, we have new Biafra generation which are very determinant to make sure that Biafra land is safe. And at the same time, Biafrans are protected from every impending danger, whether secretly or openly. Anyhow you like, you look at it. Your influence and magnanimity are contagious. And this have drawn the attentions of the international community to look into the cry and pains and agonies of Biafrans in Nigeria. And this have made them to sympathetically move in mass to see what actually is going on in Nigeria that have made Biafrans to decide to, to exit Nigeria. And uh, finally, they have come to the conclusion that all what Biafrans have been passing through in Nigeria have been man-made problem um, orchestrated by some people who felt like during the war 1967-70 that they defeated Biafrans, they conquered Biafra land, and for this reason, Biafrans must remain subjugated and slaves under their control. And uh, these two uh, classes of people have joined hands together to eliminate many Biafrans with impunity and trying to make sure that the futures and dreams of Biafrans does not come to reality. And what I'm saying this moment is that we thank God for the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile. We thank God for the Biafran agitation, agitators of this present time. We thank God for this dispensation of Simon Banjaku. We thank God for many people who have volunteered themselves and we will never ever forget to extend our hands of thanksgiving to our our indomitable leader, uh, Mazen Namdekano, wherever he is now, all of us, our spirits are with him, and his spirit is with us. So we cannot leave him alone, and we cannot go without him, because without him, there is no Biafra, and without Biafra, there is no him. So for this reason, wherever you are listening to me this moment, 
I want to tell you that um, the declaration of Biafra is authentic. The, uh, the, 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 the Biafra referendum is confirmed. So, as many people and many world leaders are warming up, looking forward for that great day that they will fly to Finland for Biafra um, restoration, referendum, and, uh, I mean, fulfillment, the fulfillment of the destinies of Biafrans in Finland. And um, as you are listening to me this period, you may take me seriously, you may take me for granted. But all I know is that whatever that drops out of my mouth definitely shall come to pass. And I cannot just get up and abandon the reasonable things I have to do and be following a Biafra issue up. Because I knew it too well that if I did not follow Biafra agitation up, I am going to be affected through one way or the other, or through many ways. Because why? Uh, I am a Biafran, I'm an Igbo man, I have children, I have uh, grandchildren, uh, uh, expecting great grandchildren. My posterity continues without limitation. My posterity have no end. And for this reason, Biafra will not have an end. We shall continue doing the necessary thing we can do in a peaceful manner, in a wonderful way. So in order to make sure that all of us, Biafrans, are completely arrived in Biafra land at the end of the day. Like I said, some people will not like to hear peace in my mouth. Yes, I am a peace-loving man, peace-maker, peacekeeper. I did not start from today. I have fought a war that lasted for seven years, seven months, seven weeks, two hours. And that was a Komog war, Liberia war. So, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I was there throughout. The war ended. So, uh, what I'm telling you this moment is that you don't threaten me with the war. And I will not continue talking about war. Because uh, wisdom is better than the weapon of war. And even if I'm going to fight war, even if I'm going to do anything, I cannot come to the social media to divulge whatever I'm going to do. But what I'm doing now is for the whole world to see that Biafrans are innocent of many allegations being laid upon them by the Nigeria federal government and the rest of them from Southeast and Biafra land who don't want to hear about Biafra and who doesn't like Biafra nation to come because Biafra nation coming will remove their milk and honey which is the crude of the oil from Biafra land that the few of them are selling and eating the money and the poor masses are suffering on daily basis crying of starvation hunger um, exorbitant of commodities in the market and they were undermined nobody pay attention to their cry or to their weep, weeping so for this reason i believe that we joining hands together to uh, facilitate the coming of biafra like we have done today uh, the whole world can see the unification of biafra uh, biafra people uh, the whole world can see that united state of biafra is something to uh, reckon with and uh, it have everything to write to him about. So Biafrans are not talking for nothing. Biafrans uh, talk and do. They keep every promises they made. And thank God for the wonderful and calculated dynamic prime minister that God has given to Biafrans. Let me remind you one thing. The law of adver adver advertisement says that if you didn't say that here I am, nobody will know where you are. So also, if we do not cry out together with a loud voice, singing one thing, saying one thing, uh, nobody will listen to us and nobody will take us seriously. But since we have unanimously agreed that Biafra is our land, ancestral land, legitimate right, our inheritance 
from the Almighty God. Bafra is divine, divinely given to special people on earth like Igbos and uh, other tribes that made up Biafrans. So I'm proud of I'm proud of Biafrans. I'm proud of Igbo people who are reasonable in mind to uh, be able to uh, know or notice that this is wrong and this is right and this belongs to us and this does not belong to us. Or uh, we belong here or we don't belong here. So my fellow dear friends, wherever you are now listening to me, I want to let you know that nothing will stop uh, Biafra Nation from coming. Yes, the Nigeria government have prepared his weapons, prepared his ammunition, sophisticated ones, and the terrorists and the militaries and uh, DSS and police. Well, I don't have anything to tell them um, until that very day. Uh, the ram will see people who carry the ship. So whatever the ram can do, we'll be watching the whole thing. So but what I'm telling you this moment is that nothing will happen to Biafra and nothing will happen in Biafra land to devastate Biafra land again. It is not going to work. And um, I, 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 let this be specific in your mind. We don't fear faces and we, we don't fear war. We don't fear anything. We respect everybody. We fear only Almighty God. Believing that he is the one who have the power to give life and who have the power to take away life. And he, God, gives a kingdom to men on earth. Uh, and that kingdom is not meant for everybody to be a leader or a president. Uh, but I know that everybody is important, created, importantly created by God. So if you are not a president, if you are not a governor or what have you, it's not going to be a do or die affair. No, everybody is not created to be a politician. So try to know where your level is to avoid unnecessary catastrophes, inciting violence here and there. And Biafra land will not take you anywhere, but what will it take you high and bring good reputation to you and your children and children is because of your legacy of peacemaking and life saving that you have already done. And this will make even people to pray good prayer for you. And God at the same time will bless you in return. Mazenam the Colonel today is languishing in the DSS custody uh, just because of I and you. Try to understand. So, whatever you are doing, Try to know that we have great responsibilities on our hands. We have to do everything within our reach to make sure that our brother, Mazen Namdekano, is released. And at the same time, to make sure that uh, Simon Eva is being protected by every means possible. Are you getting what I'm saying? By every mean, means possible. Simon Eva must be protected, both front and back, left and right and center. So nothing should happen to him. So don't be a betrayer. Don't be a saboteur in the race of Biafra of freedom. So, but those who doesn't like Biafra and who doesn't want Biafrans, I, want, I have an advice for them. They, at the same time, should hold their peace and remain in their own country so that um, there will be no unnecessary, uh, I mean, catastrophe at the end of the day, because if you did not stone me, I will not stone you, all right? And know it too well that if you are living in a glass house, you don't throw stone, all right? So, because anything that have front must have back, then uh, we have decided to make sure that the gospel we are preaching um, comes to reality. We are the children of Chukwokikabiyama, and we are known by preaching the gospel. Gospel of peace, gospel of liberation, gospel of freedom. And that's what the, our Lord Jesus Christ has brought for us, salvation of mankind. So, and that is what uh, Mazen Namdekano take up 
That's what Samuel Akba is doing. That is what General Meto Maribe is doing, preaching the gospel of human salvation, the salvation of humanity, uh, you know, saving people from the hands of invaders, from the hands of terrorists, from the hands of bandits. Our gospel uh, is beyond even Nigeria and Africa. We preach this salvation to the whole world for people and the leaders to understand that the people they are leading are human beings. They are not animals. They feel pains. They feel hungry. And the um, good thing is also uh, good for them. Then um, I believe within me and deeply convinced that our gospel preaching is sinking well and very positive. And in no distant time, it's going to yield forth fruit in abundance. So we cannot continue singing the Lord's song in a strange land. So in the sense that Nigeria cannot accommodate Biafrans, Nigeria is not a place for Biafrans to sojourn. Biafrans does not have any place in Nigeria. So since a particular place you enter cannot contain you and you are you continue struggling and squeezing yourself in i'm telling you that is not the will of god so let's call a spade a spade and let's solve this problem once and for all so many intelligent world leaders understood that uh, all what biafrans are saying biafra leaders are saying i mean it is real so i'm not when I say Biafran leaders, I, I, I excluded uh, Igbo politicians. They are not Biafran leaders. They are on their own. They are Nigerian leaders. So for this reason, uh, I'm talking of the indigenous people of Biafra leaders. So I'm talking of the prime minister of Biafra Republic in exile. Such a nice person with a good heart and always enthusiastic with the optimism that his efforts and um, his uh, uh, um, uh, strength will give good result to Biafra agitation and to Biafra freedom. And it is bringing that a good result now. Before I wrap up my message this moment, I'm aware when somebody called in the program of Simon Eber and asked him, does it mean that you have envisaged that you were going to be a prime minister from athlete to become a prime minister uh, in your life? Have you, ever, have you ever had such a dream? And uh, this and this and that, blah, 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 blah. Um, he answered him well, all right? So, but I just want to chip in small thing to the answer he gave to him. So, look, leaders have been made. All right. Uh, nobody is. Um, uh, uh, nobody is. I mean, little. Nobody is small. So the important thing is in life, you must know what you are supposed to do, and you must know where you are fit to operate. Because if you are operating where you are not fitted, then you'll be disgraced. And this is why I said the mantle of leadership of Biafra kingdom have fallen or has fallen upon Simon Eba. So whoever that is fighting him should understand that he did not nominate himself. And whoever that doesn't want to see him should understand that Biafra is a spirit. And when the spirit of Biafra possesses you, you begin to speak in tongues of Biafrans. Uh, all right, you know, you may not know that Biafrans speak in tongues. Biafrans have special tongues that they speak uh, when, they, with, when they are speaking. So the mantle of leadership falling on him, have upgraded him, uh, lifted him, him high, whether if he's a footballer. Uh, you see, the former president of Liberia was a footballer. So what do you mean? What are you trying to say? Uh, Donald Trump was 
acting in black and white white television today.